Hey there, gang. This is uh, Alfred Einstein back again with another version or property for deal or no deal. This property is in Brevard County. It was at a foreclosure sale. Yeah, I think it was a foreclosure sale. And um, it's generally unremarkable. Uh, but there are a few things I wanted to point out, and I'm going to I'm going to get more into the foreclosure action itself, more than I am about more than I am about the property. But I hope you get something from it. And uh, here we go. So this is the property right here. It's a you can see on the property appraiser sheet that is a it's a manufactured home not suitable for occupancy. So something probably happened to that thing way back there, and the lot is very deep. So it's, it's basically what it is, you're buying a piece of land. You're buying a piece of land, and it's been like this for a while, evidently, because the assessed value for 2022 uh, has gone down from 2021, but it's still just 9,000 bucks is what it's worth. When previous years, there were sales that brought it up towards $100,000. Now that was in 2004, it sold for a hundred thousand dollars so there's no trailer there anymore there's nothing there to look at so someone's just buying this thing um, just using the land that's all they're gonna do with it uh, let's see what we got here all right let's look at the bid sheet so this is the foreclosure bid sheet Brevard County Florida is one of the only counties left in the state of Florida if not the only state where they have live auctions and if you've never been to a live auction, man, you got to get down here and go because it's ter it's terrific. It's great because um, it's so exciting. It's 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 there's nothing like it. Uh, like I, I explained to someone the other day at an investor club meeting that it's if you play poker, it's like hitting a uh, hitting a full house on the flop and there's all hearts on the board. So, you know, someone's playing a flush and they're going to bet into you. So that's the excitement there is in a. Uh, in an auction so here we have everybody's first name now a, a poor clerk has got to write down everybody's name as they bid so you see sometimes she she cuts it up like if Nick bids 28,000 uh, Chris bids 28,5 she just writes 500 so it kept on going up and the highest bid ended up being 52,000 North Brevard property is the company that bought it uh, this is the second page of the bid sheet 52,000 and here is the, the um, this is the information that's going to go on the certificate of title uh, there's the sale date successful bid North Broad properties that's their address if you want to write them and ask them about the property I bet they would appreciate it so let's see that's it for that so 52 what do you pay 52 52,000 that's a bit much for a piece of land for me but I'm not a land guy so I don't know but what I want to do is I want to get into the uh, the docket sheet so this is the electronic docket sheet that covers all the events uh, up to the foreclosure sale um, I don't know it sold for 52 the, the final judgment I think was huge wasn't the final judgment really big final judgment was 82 so it had to be discounted it already take 52 for the sale so let's just Let's just scroll down and see if we can find. So these are all the summonses of all the people that had to get foreclosed out. Brevard's website is great because you can pull up all these documents as long as they don't have a little lock on them. So file the opposition. Let's go to the final judgment. Certificate of sale. Assignment of bid. We'll talk about that in a second. Here's the final judgment. Six page long. And 82,000 was their judgment. So this is just what the judgment looks like. 59,000 was the principal accrued interest because they didn't make a payment since March 2019 so they were they're pretty patient with them before they foreclosed took almost two years escrow advances that's going to be insurance and taxes here's the attorney's fees 4700 court costs look at the filing fees a thousand bucks very nice right property preservation what, <laughs> what do they preserve they preserve nothing that's just the, that's just an add-on fee man that's terrible the way they do that property preservation to a burnt down building 4254 hog there's the sale date nothing got changed so that's the final judgment so these are all the parties that's the final judgment these are little locks you can't see that document if it's locked but essentially um, what I want to talk about quickly before we move on is an assignment of bid okay an assignment of bid 
is something that I talk about more in my mortgage purchase course because that's the way you get uh, an assignment to the rights of the plaintiff once an order or a final judgment has been entered. Now, when I, when I teach it, I teach that you not only get an assignment of bid, you get an assignment of the final judgment, an assignment of the mortgage, an assignment of the note. And those of you that know a little bit, a little bit more, you'll realize that in Florida, the mortgage merges into the final judgment. So you can't have a you can't have a final judgment and a, a final judgment and a mortgage. You just have to have one. Uh, so the final judgment represents the mortgage, and the mortgage merges into the into the final judgment. So taking assignment of the final judgment is safe enough. But I like taking assignment of the mortgage too, because what if the final judgment gets set aside in bankruptcy? There's a whole lot of things that can go sideways. So uh, that's just uh, I'm off on a tangent now. I apologize. But uh, so this guy bought a, a piece of land for fifty two thousand. And I have to assume that he probably has a trailer. He's going to put something on it that's um, going to go ahead and be suitable for his use in that piece of, in that land. So what I will do is I'll keep an eye on this sale, uh, this property, and see if he ends up keeping it or see if he sells it. And then we'll come back again at another date and talk about the result. Uh, in any event, I hope you found uh, a little something interesting in here. Um, oh, also, I want to mention that because the... The final judgment was eighty-two thousand, and the bid was only fifty-two. There was no surplus to be claimed in this one. Just so you're, just if you're a surplus guy, that just want to let you know. But in the meantime, this is Alfred Einstein, uh, wishing you guys a great week, and I'll see y'all next time.